Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. DDG94, with another My Crib 2K gameplay. And today, we're taking on the champion San Antonio Spurs. It's my first game on All Star difficulty. I'm going to try this out, see how it works. If we get our ass bust, well, then maybe it's just the team. Because it's definitely not me. I could tell you that right now. I would say this is probably the best basketball that they've played this year. That's what their recent games would indicate, Steve. I mean, they've been basically invincible. It's really been a showcase of just how dominant. Come on, man. How we lose that tip, man? Clicking on all cylinders. Here they go. There it go. All they got to do, pull up. And it's money all day for them. We do the same thing as Brick City. I'm telling y'all. Need that patch, 2K. Need that shit quick. Put that in, Jay Hen. There you go. Jay Hen put in that work. There you go. But he's a crafty passer and he can score a little bit from the outside. Very difficult player to guard. Parker kicks to Leonard. Dial the screen. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard, what you gonna do, bruh? Nothing. Gonna pass off Timmy. Timmy gonna pass off to Dial. I don't know what the fuck is was going on there. What the fuck was up with the defense? Come on now. What was up that defense? Where that do? What defense? I'm trying to cut to the basket and shit right here. My time. My time. Watch Ginobili starting. Yeah, why is Ginobili starting? Ain't he supposed to be like coming off the bench? Ain't that the plan? But then again, I kind of want Ginobili instead of Danny Granger. I mean Danny Green because, you know. Danny Green's pretty good defensively. Ginobili's good defensively too, but I'd rather take Ginobili right now. He old. He old. That nigga old. What the fuck was that? I'm surprised Pop don't put you on the bench for that one. That was horrible. Knowing Pop, he would have put your ass on the bench, Kawhi. He don't give a fuck if you was the MVP. Yeah, the nice the little ball. pick and roll there. Right here. Oh, got him. Got Tony. Got Tony. Whip. Oh, oh, I was finna say it. That don't go in. That is that bull. That's a good. That's a good layup right there. No way. Oh, my God. Timmy. Timmy. Retire. Retire, nigga. Just retire, bro. You and Pop. Y'all can just retire. I don't care about Parker or Ginobili. They can stick around. They'll probably just end up leaving. That's cash money. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got to get this win, bro. We keep getting... We keep going in and out the eighth seed in the east, bro. This shit is ridiculous. We keep going in and out. There's too many teams fighting for the spot. The Atlanta Hawks just came back up. Like, literally, the Atlanta Hawks just came back up. Like, they went on a six-game winning streak, and now all of a sudden, they're right back in contention to be in the playoffs. So now it's four teams fighting for an eighth seed. Actually, it's five. Actually, it's five fighting for the seven and eighth seed. So... Because the Knicks, they're starting to lose games. I think, no, nah, yeah. Because J.R. Smith, he just went down with a torn meniscus. So, the Knicks are like the seventh seed. But, like, their 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 record is just as equal as everybody fighting for the eighth seed right now. So, basically, whoever wins. So, if we win this game right here, we could possibly be the seventh seed in the East. If we lose, we're just going to keep going down the line. We're just going to keep going down the barrel. We just gonna keep going down this barrel, man. It's gonna be ridiculous, man. We keep getting knocked in and out this this lineup, man. We gotta stop this. This is ridiculous. We gotta stop this. There you go. There you go. Be money. Be money. But yeah, man. We gotta stop this, man, because the East is trash, man. And we can and we can be a, a seven seed or third seed or it would be a seventh seed or uh, or a fifth or fourth seed at best all we gotta do is really just win 45 games man but looking at the time frame we in the middle of uh we in the middle of march um larry sanders he's day-to-day -day. 
So he's on the verge of coming back. He's on the verge, not ready yet. It's probably going to be a couple more games, but... Oh, how I missed that dunk? How did I miss that dunk? That was not blocked. That was not a blocked dunk. How the fuck they blocked my dunk, bro? That shit went down. There was nobody guarding that either. So how the fuck did this shit get blocked? No way. Give me that. I finna boom it. Ah, come on, Timmy. Retire. Retire, Timmy. Just retire. Ah, come on. Jay Hen. Oh, oh my goodness. JP, what the fuck was you doing? Now they got the lead. God damn it. So is this game just like really based for the computer to like control us? Because that's what I feel like right now. I feel like we don't have any advantage in this game right now so far. Like do you feel like you have the advantage or do you feel like the computer has more of the advantage? Or else is it just the team that you play on? Like it, like let's say for instance, you playing on the Spurs right now. How many of y'all are playing on the Spurs, the the Cavaliers, the Heat, the Bulls? Uh, which one y'all? How many of y'all are playing on those teams right now? In our busting ass, like are y'all the first or seven seed? Are y'all the first and second seed? Are y'all just like the seven eighth seed looking in like us? Like is it the teams or is it really the difficulty? I don't know. Because if it's based off the teams, that's not fair. Because I'll just because I'm playing for the Bucks does not mean we have to lose to every fucking team possible. Especially if you got a guy who's going out here uh, playing his game. Like, that doesn't mean we have to lose all the time. Because I've been watching a couple of videos. I've seen iPod King Carter videos. I've seen a lot of people's videos. And a lot of people are struggling with their teams right now. So I'm starting to wonder, is it the teams or is it the difficulty? Because if it's the difficulty, then I can just knock it down. But if it's just the team, then what, what, what's the purpose for playing for the garbage teams? As I get that block right there. God damn, where did I? You see them arms, them long ass arms I got, man. Just swatted that shit out of here. Get that shit out of here. But yeah, man, like I'm saying though, man, like Nobody Like I'm I'm saying though, like If it's like because we playing on a garbage team, that means we gonna have a mediocre season. That's not that's not fair to me. To me that's not fair. Like it's not fair, 2K. You got to You got to balance it. Yeah, into the lane, throw it down. Finally, I get a dunk. Finally getting a dunk. But it does not matter because we're getting our ass bust again. This is, we have lost three games in a row, bro. We have lost three fucking games in a row. They LA, Golden State, and now the San Antonio Spurs, bruh. We are dropping, sadly. Like, I don't even think we might even make the playoffs now. Get that shit out of here. Get that shit out of here, baby. I'm, I, I'm out here. I'm determined to win, but my team is just not, my team just isn't there. So I really think it is, like, based off of what team you're playing for. So basically, if you playing on an ass team, you gonna have ass results. Here's Walters, and that's not even close. But yep, and that's the game. This one. And this we one get our ass bust again by another team, the San Antonio Spurs. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.